stockings, wreaths, lights on the tree, and gifts nestled underneath. We all know the many traditions of Christmas. But you might not know some of the older and stranger traditions that were lost to time. Like the age-old custom of telling ghost stories around Christmas time. That's right! You see, much of the modern-day look and style of the Christmas season comes from Victorian England in the 1800s. And there were few things Victorians loved more than telling each other spooky ghost stories, especially during the most wonderful time of the year. Even Charles Dickens' 1843 novel, A Christmas Carol, maybe the most famous holiday story ever written, is all about ghosts. In fact, the book was originally called A Ghost Story of Christmas and features four frightening phantoms who visit Ebenezer Scrooge in the dead of the night to try and scare some holiday spirit into his selfish soul. And Dickens wasn't the only one writing tales of ghosts for the holidays. Dozens of books, magazines, newspapers, and even Christmas cards from the Victorian era used spooky specters to celebrate the holiday season. By the turn of the 20th century, the ghostly tradition had spread across the pond. American author Henry James wrote a horror novella set on Christmas Eve called The Turn of the Screw, which was quite popular. And Edgar Allan Poe's famous paranormal poem, The Raven, takes place in the bleak month of December. Okay, so that's the basics about the haunted history of creepy Victorian Christmas ghosts. But one major question remains. Why? What is it about the holly jolly holiday season that made people want to tell scary stories? Well, it turns out that the dark roots of December 25th go back, way back, before Christianity, all the way back to the ancient world. You see, lots of classic Christmas trademarks like hanging stockings, decorating trees, wreaths, and even giving gifts were adopted from old world winter solstice festivals. These late December celebrations honored the death of light on the longest night of the year. Because of all the death and darkness of the season, the winter solstice was considered the most haunted, as the realm of the dead was closest to this time of year. Not exactly merry and bright, but in an ancient world where just surviving a harsh winter might be hard enough, it's not hard to see why they'd have death on the mind. Over the years, another ancient harvest festival turned modern holiday known as Halloween took over as the flagship date for all things spooky and weird, stripping Christmas of its ghoulish side. So this year on Christmas morning, as the family gathers round the tree in their PJs, ready to open their presents, maybe pop on a horror movie. It's a holiday tradition after all.